Hello guys, I am to explain to you our your project from midterm, which is this Myth Cafe. It's an online coffee talk. And you're already aware of this because this is actually a continuation of your preliminary project. But know that the objective or the rationale of this one is to teach you how to organize an online event so that in the future when you organize a bigger webinar, it's rather easy to pull off now for the date and time of the scheduled webinar since this is a, a following a talk show format this has to be pre-recorded ahead of time and will be edited for the further improvement you have to schedule the date and time availability of your guest and you have to adjust to their schedule and this will be shown in either the synchronous or asynchronous session the time duration is 30 to 40 minutes that's the full edit and then you can record this over zoom or google meet although in google meet um free account you have to have a third party recording um for the proposed guest this has already been approved the last time so you have to make initial communication with your guest i have given you the format of the letter so uh, please make sure that you are very polite in your communication with the guest for the topic it depends on the area of specialization of the guest and you being the facilitator and host has the full command of the direction script and creativity of the show and uh, i I expect 100% participation of the members of the group. I have given you a peg. Please do check on this um, website wherein I was interviewed by the students from LPU and to give you an idea of what's going to happen. So again, this is an online talk show series. Hence, it's Smith Cafe Online Coffee Talk. Then you are to create uh, a very nice and catchy episode title and it must be anchored on the theme topic and story of your featured guest okay and then on the poster we are to highlight the of course our guest and then they them being an alumni of saint anne you have to indicate their course and the year that they have graduated then for you to come up with a, um, a guide question you have to ask for their CV or resume for documentation purposes but please take note that their CV and resume contains confidential information so you have to make sure that you only use that for the purpose of um, coming up with questions and that you do not divulge this information to other people then you prepare a program flow or scripting um, an opening spiel is very important because that will establish a mental warm-up for your audience and of your guests. Kung ano yung pag-uusapan for the 30 to 40 minute session, then you are also to come up with a wrap-up or a closing spiel to summarize what um, has transpired or what were the learnings that you've had while you are listening to the story of your guest. And then as I mentioned, um, you are to, as part of the flow, you also prepare guide questions. Uh, for a 30 to 40 minute show, you could have 15 to 20 questions and this should be anchored on the central theme of the episode. Um, looking back into the story of your guests, maybe um, when they were college, um, during their work experience, um, during the pandemic, what they have been up to, and what were their future plans? So you are to you have to be very creative with the art of questioning, and uh, so that your groupmates would also be guided. The order of the questions must be sequential, but not to sound very stiff. You could also inject maybe commentaries and impromptu questions if as the need arise so that it would not sound very boxed or scripted 
it will be very helpful if you research well on the topic at hand and also you could check on the social media platforms of your guest so that you could also have a good backstory then uh, for, for for promotion of this um, talk show you are to prepare a poster and the poster that you will prepare must be anchored on the the topic that we have learned on the principles of design considering the the color the clarity the composition the materials etc i do suggest that you use canva because canva is a very nice design platform by which there's a lot of templates and uh, it's very aesthetic you know but you are to consider the the, the following information the logo of saint and and of course the department and what this is in line with the subject hpc 212 introduction to meetings incentive conventions and exposition then of course we are to highlight the name of the guest a short profile the year that they graduate and their, their course then you may also have to ask for a nice um, photo by which you could highlight and advertise them then don't forget the, the title of the show and the episode title and other design elements or stickers that may be necessary based on the the theme a while ago i was uh, preparing for a sample poster and i'll be showing you uh the 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 poster that i did a while ago because uh, we're also to prepare a uh webinar and this one i did for dr liave for for smith the the untold stories and legacies so this one it presents or the, the important elements are here the logo the the title of the subject the project the title of the episode the the name of the speaker the image or the photo and the short bio profile um, in, Ca in Canva, you could um, save those in PNG, which provides you a clearer image of the poster. And also, you can make use of GIF and save it as a MP4, okay? Then, you're also to prepare a certificate, although I'll be the one to um, compose the, the text to avoid grammatical errors. You just have to um design um, a certificate based on your aesthetics and it must be also anchored on the theme of the webinar then i'll be sending you my e-signature and also the e-signature of the leader must be on the certificate which you are to give as a sign of appreciation to your guest then for additional aesthetics during the the webinar you are to design a simple background so that there's a uniformity. It's easy on the eye and um, the maybe the four or five of you being the facilitator of the webinar have a uniform Zoom or Google Meet background. And the one that is different is that of the host so that um, uh, he's the one who is different and na highlight siya. Then for the final edit, you are to save that in Google Drive as MP4 and please send that over to my email address. I'll be the one to upload and premiere the viewing of the episode so that every session of our subject, we have something to look forward to. There's a new story that we could learn and uh, some final reminders that prior to the shoot, I have mentioned that you are to send an invitation to the guest and please confirm of their date and time av availability. Then you may also have to ask aside from the profile picture on that you will have on the poster, you may seek for additional photos which can be flashed during the, the talk show to, to put emphasis on the topics that you'll be talking about. Maybe the photos at work, establishment and awards. All right. 
So that's it. Thank you very much. Hello guys, this is the part two of my recording and I'll be discussing to you the criteria for assessment for your midterm projects, Myth Cafe, Online Cough, Eat, Talk, or webinar series. So this will be the basis of the grading and uh, this you will be graded as a group. So please know that these are the criteria for assessment. A huge chunk of the of the project will go into the content because for the content you have to make sure that the message is very clear it's purposeful it has a nice flow and transition the questions posed were valuable valuable thus allowing the guest to narrate more which is um 40 percent of the total so you have to make sure that it's worth watching there's so much that you can talk about you're able to uh to extract the the story and the highlights of the career of your invited guest and 20 percent goes to the delivery and impact the delivery and execution is natural impactful convincing and appealing to the audience and not sounding too scripted and more importantly it should be delivered in the way how a talk show is supposed to be delivered so we want it to be as natural as possible so you have to keep that in mind then 10 points go to nuisance this means that it's the clarity tone volume formality voice projection timing and interaction so it's not only about the voice but also how you project yourself on the camera your interaction with your other co-hosts and to the guests okay then 10 points go to the visual appeal and post-process edit so this is not just about purely recording it as it is of course as a um, talk show there's post-process editing because some way somehow there's gonna be bloopers there's gonna be um some technical issues or technical difficulties so you may have to retake not only once maybe twice because um as i have experienced the last time we had to reshoot it twice or thrice but the challenge for the 10 points also go to goes to the the editor the one who's going to edit your content so the editing of the material as a talk show should meet the objectives of the project it should appeal as a talk show to the, your target audience which would be your the, the students it's not only your section but this could also be shown to the the other section and maybe some of the students of smith because i want to maximize the the material and for many other people to learn the story or the success story of the graduates of saint anne and eventually this will be uploaded on the page of our department and it's a way of flexing them because we are humbled and proud of what they have been because of saint anne as an addition to the visual appeal you have to make sure that everything is pleasing on the eye the the hosts are dressed as appropriate okay so bilang talk show although this is not a a very formal or in stiff uh webinar but rather a casual talk show but you have to look presentable it's not only about your way of dressing but also you carry with you your personality i mean you could wear light makeup you have to be impressive and look presentable on the camera okay and then artistic achievement is 20 points or 20 and then uh, this refers to the design aesthetics and materials such as poster the background the certificate it should be consistent to the central theme of the episode um free from error it's going forms to the design principle which we have discussed the last time 
and all in all that's a total of 100 percent so i am expecting for you to put your best foot forward and i know that you will have your a game on this because this a huge chunk of your midterm grade will go on to the project and please also know that this is uh just but a baby step towards your final project come finals which is uh for a culminating activity for a grand webinar in cooperation with the other major subjects that we have at the school of management for international hospitality and tourism okay so if you do have questions please message me and uh thank you very much you do have a good day bye bye